everyone. This is Vinny Venom, and this is Getting Into the Business, the music business that is episode 13. I am Vinny Venom, your host, music producer, remixer, songwriter, record label owner, apparel owner, entrepreneur, public figure. Hey, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Like I said, I am Vinny Venom, music producer, songwriter, and your host. Thank you for your feedback, your love, your support for all you've been doing and sending me this great feedback on my YouTube channel, on my new show, getting into the business, the music business that is. And we are at episode 13. And so many people have been contacting me and saying to me, especially one person said to me, wow, Vin, I didn't know you knew so much about music. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate everyone getting back to me and happy on the information that I'm giving them stuff that I'm finding out every single day. Um, you know, everything in life is an experience, right? So if you don't know something, right. And I said it on prior shows, ask somebody, don't be afraid to ask someone about something that you want to get involved in and you want to look into it further. And I did. So what am I going to touch on today? Everybody's going to say, right. NFTs. Then what is an NFT? Well, an NFT is something that you might not think is something. As crazy as it sounds, right? A lot of you guys and girls have been seeing, you know, these monkeys, these lions, all these, you know, digital images and whatnot and saying, hey, is that an NFT? Is that an NFT? Is that an NFT? So I started looking into it and doing my homework and looking into things further and finding out how do I put my NFTs on these sites? Uh, how do I pay for them? How do I do this? How do I do that? So I'm trying to figure out what's the first step to do. So I'm asking people that are involved in NFTs and they know my work and they know my graphics and they're like, hey, Vin, you should be doing NFTs. So I started looking into NFTs and I started looking at the stuff and it was very simple. And I'm like, this is stuff that I do every single day. This is an NFT. An NFT could be something that you hold dear to you and you think it's amazing, it's phenomenal, it's fantastic, it's mind-blowing, you put it on this site that I'm going to bring up right now, OpenSea, right? First, you have a uh, Coinbase account, right? So you're getting your money from your bank account, transferring into a Coinbase account, right? Bitcoin. And then you go onto this site called OpenSea. And that money goes into MetaMask and you pay from that uh, with different things. And I'm going to bring them up, uh, but look into it more. Uh, I can't pronounce it. It's E-T-E-R-E-M. And then it goes into MetaMask and you pay for whatever it may be at the time. You know, you've got to look at the prices and what you're going to put your NFT for, what you're, bought, what, what you're placing it for on that site. Uh, and what you're looking for and asking for as a payment for it. People are going to look into it and see if they like it, if they want to get involved, if they want to buy it, if they're interested in it in any way, and so on. So what happens once you somebody buys it, right? It all depends, right? You could do a one of a kind, a unique. This is one out of one, okay? Then this you could do two out of two, three out of two, or this 10 out of 10. So... It depends how you want to put it. If you want to just do one of a kind, you just put a price on it. There's only one of those on this earth. That person that has it has the original. That's theirs or whatever. The beauty of it is even though you sell it to someone else, you still get revenue from it. You're still getting paid as that person contains it and other people buying it and passing it on and so on and so on. So it's constantly cons consistently giving you revenue. Is it something you want to look into? It's up to you. If you believe you have something that you do close to that and you can see that you could be making money on it, then do it. Don't go crazy. Don't go overboard. Just start off really slow and decide for yourself if it's going to be something that you want to set on an everyday basis and do it. You know, the question is, doing it. Start off simple. Don't go all overboard and go crazy about it. You know, start off simple. See if you start seeing something from it. 
then you start doing more of it because people are liking what you're doing and it's getting a good clientele and the public's noticing it. Then you decide for yourself if you want to do it on a regular basis. Like I brought up prior, Pond5, I just put my music on there. It's licensing. So you could set a price for a song and people could use it on, you know, like right now on YouTube or a commercial and, and so on. So you continue revenue. It's all about money. Okay. Because a lot of people I've noticed are doing stuff in life that they're not happy doing. Okay. And you have to be happy what you're doing. How many people on this earth um, wanted to grow up to be something else, but they did not become that because it wasn't in the cards and they're doing something just to pay the bills. It's just getting by. They're not happy. You know, and that's not what they wanted to do. That's not their set goal. That's not, that, that was not their achievement in life. But they're doing it anyway. And they're hating it. And they're making their life miserable about it. There's certain things that you could be doing that could change that for you. Like I'm doing this, right? I always love getting people love hearing me. And, you know, I've always had this. And I'm grateful and blessed that people enjoy what I have to say and suggestions that I bring up. And a lot of people used to always tell me, hey, man, you should write a book. Hey, you should do a, you know, this, you should do that, you know. And I did. I did a while ago. I did a show and a lot of people were tuning in and people were asking me recently, hey, man, you need to do another show. You need to do another show. So I started saying, hey, what should I do a show about? And I started seeing the feedback I was getting from people not knowing about, you know, royalties and mechanicals and, and you know, and BMI and ASCAP. And so I said, you know what? I need to do this because this is going to be something that's going to help a lot of people because a lot of people don't know, you know, if you place your song in a TV show, in a movie, you want to get paid and you want to know the right channels to go through to make that happen. You can't just set a bank account and just put your name and not put your routing number, you know, and, and you know, and, and your uh, bank account. And then expect money to come in your account. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to work. And a lot of people, were, it seemed to be that that was the situation that they were falling into from that. So I said, you know what? I have to be involved and do this. And I started bringing up stuff. I'm going to bring up more stuff as I get involved in more stuff. And everybody's always asking me, hey, is there new music coming out? Yes, there's new music coming out. Um, a lot of you guys uh, all over the world and girls. DJs, uh, and just people in general been loving the the recent remixes I did from some amazing artists. And I will be bringing out another remix from that amazing artist that everyone loving the song that I did, uh, that all the DJs are playing on their mix shows. And thank you for all the love and the support I've been getting from so many DJs here and all over the world showing me love. And I continue to show love and giving them their set dues of love back because thank you because if it wasn't for those guys you know letting people know about my music um, a lot of people didn't know about my music because um it wasn't getting out to certain people that it needed to get to and it did now and i'm really grateful and blessed because of it thank you so we all have to do something in life that we love doing and we enjoy doing because if we don't we are not going to be happy in life in general, okay? So we have to do what makes us happy. So don't be afraid of doing something and getting into something, not knowing what you're going to do. Do your homework first before you do it. Or speak to people. Don't be afraid to ask questions. We are so lucky because we have the ability of the internet now that we need something answered, we can find it. How many people have a problem in the house and they're like, you know what, let me go on YouTube. Maybe there'll be someone. And sure enough, they find somebody and explain to them exactly what they needed to do and they did it. What do you do first? You subscribe to that person's channel. You like that person's channel. You comment on that person's channel. You get back to that person and write feedback and say, hey, I didn't know the first thing to do. You explained everything from A to Z. Thank you for being you and thank you for giving me this advice. Just to let you know, I subscribe to your channel. I liked your channel. I comment your channel and I shared your channel. 
that person will be so happy. Not only that he's a new, you're a new subscriber, but you gave you advice that helped you get what you needed to get done, and you did it, and you came out from it. That is the greatest feeling in the world. Hence, how many people don't know what to do, but always had this great appeal on how they talk or how they sound. Try something like this. Start your own channel, whatever you're into. You're into, um, you know, I love animals. You know, everybody knows Billion, my, my, my lychee that I got from Leaping Lychees. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, not leaping lychees. That I've been talking about leaping lychees food. I got him from Sherry. And if anybody wants to know where I got her, got him from, hit me up and I will give you all that info. The food that I feed Billion is from Steve from Leaping Lychee. Amazing food. That's all I feed him. It has all the vitamins. It has all the food. It has all the nutrition. He's happy. He's healthy. I can't be more content than that. Thank you for making your food, Steve. Thank you for all your um, information that you've been giving me. And Sherry also, thank you for the love and the support you guys have been giving me just by giving me the information that you're known for. And I thank you so much. So I got to give people props that deserve props. If you like something that someone's giving you in this world, praise them for it. Give them their shout out. Let them know how much you enjoy what they have to say. So how many people in this world are not happy doing what they're attended to do in life? A lot. Especially the holidays right now. There's a lot of people are not feeling the same way you are. I'm one of them, just to give you uh, an example. Lost my mom in 2018. Christmas, holidays, birthdays are not the same. How does that feel, Vin? Well, it feels like something bigger than the earth just pounding on your chest and laying there and not moving because it can't move anymore. There's no way to get it away because that person's not there anymore. So there's definitely a part of my body that is no longer functioning the way it functioned before. So you have to understand from the holidays, there's a lot of people going through the same problem. Even though you're cheerful and jolly and the holidays and Christmas and, you know, the new year and, uh, you know, all these holidays on top of everything else, a lot of people are not feeling the way you feel. They're not in the spirit of anything. So understand that certain people have different things going on in their life. So they're not going to see life the way you're seeing it right now. So respect those people. Understand that. What you might be going through, they'll be going through something different. So always understand that and understand the necessities of life because certain people don't have those same situations going on in theirs. You know, respect them, you know, just like you would respect them. You respect yourself. But so many people in this world are going through so much. And they're like, hey, what are you grateful for, Vin? Well, I don't have my mom anymore, but I still have my sister, I have my niece, I have my nephew, and I have a lot of other people that I care about in this world, okay, that are still here. My mom, you know, is no longer here. Time that I had with her, you know, was great, but I got to enjoy that time and I have to be grateful for that. You know, my mom passed away at 70. You know, there's other kids, a mom that passed away younger and they had less time with their mom. I should be lucky because I had a little bit more time with my mom than they did. So you have to always be grateful for what you have, whatever it may be. A lot of people will probably think different. A lot of people will relate to what I'm saying. A lot of people will not understand and be confused on what I'm saying and have no idea because maybe they just recently lost someone and their hurt is a little bit more intense than mine as mine has gone Past a little bit more than theirs. Um, so what do you need to do in life? Find what makes you happy and do it. You know, how many people find what they love to do in life later on in life? And they live a different life because it took them longer 
to get to where they were. And now that they are there, they are content with life. Um, how many people, you know, and I'm going to talk about this very important, are not taking care of themselves the way they did in their youth. And then they're wondering why they look different, why they feel different, why things are not, you know, going the way they did before. Rest is really important. I mean, and I noticed it even more because I wasn't resting. Um, I was supposed to do this show last night and I was exhausted. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to do it because I need to get some rest because if I do this show, I'm going to be messing up and saying things that don't make sense because your brain's shutting down. Understand the brain is something that's working 24-7, just like your heart, right? Um, you know, your brain takes a break. Your heart is always moving because if you don't heart, you just move, you, you just pass, you know, you die. So, but the brain has to rest period and that's the sleep period. And that's the reset button, okay? To start off the next day, you know, it's, it's, it's backing up, it's shutting off, it's, you know, it's uh, on sleep for the time being. And then when you wake up, but you're still dreaming. So it's at low mass instead of full mass. Okay. So a lot of people don't understand that and how important sleep is, even though you're taking care of yourself, you're exercising without doing that. The body doesn't reset. The body doesn't rejuvenate. The body does not cycle and you get sick. So, um, sleep is very important. You know, also taking care of yourself is very important. How many people, you know, got married and not doing the same thing they were doing before. They're not running like they did every morning. They're not, you know, juicing like they did every morning. Um, they're not doing a lot of things like they did any morning. A lot of people are starting to see themselves getting a little bit heavier. Uh, some people receding, you know, there's a lot of things that you see in your life. That's not, um, seeing well with you, you know, you're not feeling well about that. And you wonder, you know, why is it doing that? Well, you need to assist and figure out what the problem is. And you could always fix it. No, it's never too late. You can never go, you could always go forward. Okay. Um, you just have to figure out what you need to do and how you need to do it and when you need to do it. Okay. So that's very important. A lot of people don't see that. Um, and that's why a lot of people sometimes are not feeling well. They're not seeing themselves the way they were and they're depressed and they're, and the people that are depressed, right? You have to see the signs. And I'm going to talk about that because I had a lot of friends and people that I know friends pass because of suicide and suicide is something really we need to touch on and we have to see the signs. Okay. Uh, if you see someone in your life and they're not seeing their lives the way they seen it before and you see a different person. They don't care about themselves. Hey man, you should get that looked at. No, nah, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's okay. You know, I don't care. I don't care. You know, I don't got much time. You know, hearing those words should be an alert because, you know, well, you know, that doesn't look right. You know, that might be, you know, that might be diabetes. That might be, you know, you know, your kidneys, you should go check out, you know, get something checked out, you know, look at it, you know, start doing something to detox or whatever. No, nah, I don't care. You know, who cares? I don't care. Why should you care? You know, start seeing the signs. Start on this, letting those people know and say they're here for a purpose. Hey, man, I understand, you know, you lost your wife, you know, you lost your mom. But just remember, I'm still here. You know, uh, if you need to talk to somebody, even if you're, you know, late at night and, you know, I'm up, I stay late. You know, if you have someone to talk to or even if you want to come over, just, you know, text me and if come over, we'll, you know, we'll watch a movie, we'll do something. Make those people understand that you are not shutting them out. There's hope for them because that helps them say to themselves, you know, it's not so bad. There's some people that actually care about me. And if I was gone, they would miss me. So I got to start seeing things different, you know, and then you get those people saying to myself, Hey man, you know, I woke up I wasn't really taking care of myself. You know, I had to go to the doctor. I did everything. Yeah, well, you were 100% right. I wasn't okay. I got to start looking at my sugar. I start I have to start taking care of myself. You know, my cholesterol is high. I know, you know, yo, dude, we can do it. I'll help you. No problem. Come on. We'll, we'll, we'll do it together. You know, be a part of that person's um, routine and, and try to get into the same 
situation that they're in, even though you're not, it's going to help you also because maybe you're doing something that's in that range that maybe you need to look at and fix and whatnot, you know? Um, it's sad because this is the year um, at the year. Yeah, well, you could say the year, uh, the time, especially Christmas, that a lot of people decide that they don't want to, they don't want to go on any longer. They just want to end it. They just want to just, you know, they're like, you're probably saying, why are you saying this, Finn? Why are you saying that? Because I need to say this. Because we have to let people know maybe someone is listening that is feeling that way or in that situation. And they need to know that they're here for a reason. The person that they care about has passed, they're gone, you know, but it was their time to go. We all have a number. We don't know that number in life, but we all have a number, a day, a minute, a second, a year. And we don't know what it is, but other people do know what it is. And those are the people, when we're gone, they announce, like, I just recently looked on social media this morning and noticed that a lot of people passed. Um, and it was probably their time to go or they got sick. Um, but you have to understand, everyone has a day that is marked in our calendar for themselves. Um, I don't know what mine is. I wouldn't want to know what mine is because if you knew what it was, you would go crazy. Well, I only got a week left to live. I only got two days left. Wow, I only have one year left. So I got to make the best of it. You would go crazy. So it's better that we don't know. But we have to always remember that there is a number and we don't know if it's going to be tomorrow, the next day or whatever. So we have to enjoy our lives as we go every single day and not think about we know exactly what day it is, what time it is, but, but, but we know it's there and we're going to continue to do what we need to do to fulfill our lives and pursue our life goals and achievements, you know, the pursuit of happiness. So um, then there's a lot of people that have less than us, okay? And, you, and this is something I'm going to talk about that we should all know about and think about how many people, you know, um, you know, know someone that can't see or never was able to see or someone that was not able to talk or, or walk or, but remember, I noticed from a lot of these people, they always see life in a different way, the way we see it than other people see it. Oh, well, I can't see, but I never was able to see. So I'm not missing out on anything. Imagine someone that was able to see and can't see anymore. They're different than me because they're able to see what they saw, their person that, you know, they care about. And so other people have different ideals on other, other situations. Well, I can't see, but I can talk and I can write. But my friend, he can't talk. But then they say, yeah, but he can't talk. He can see that I can't see. So everyone is grateful for something and sees what they have less as more. Do you understand? Um, I'm able to walk, talk, look, see, be on here, giving you suggestions, ideas, and all these other things and different arrangements and whatever. There's other people that can't do that. Imagine... You're able to wake up every morning, get out of bed, put your feet in your on the floor, get up, jump out of bed, go to the bathroom, do what you got to do, get a frying pan on, crack some eggs, make some milk, make yourself an omelet, squeeze some fresh orange juice, drink it, and go on your way. Where someone has to have someone get them out of bed, feed them, put them in a chair, and that's their lives. So be grateful for what you have because certain people Many people have less than what you have, okay? So I'm going to leave you with a wrap, and then I'm going to go on from there. Every person in life has struggles each and every day. Certain struggles might not relate to you in any situation or any way. But understand, light may come to you and darkness may lay to them is true. But people see things in different light than you. Understanding the trying and the tribulations of every single day. 
the struggles, the journeys. Some people think they're mysterious in so many ways. Things might hunger in life every single day. So many people have lost people each and every day. You look at social media as I looked today and saw how many people left this earth and passed away. The struggles and heartache that we set in our lives, we don't set them as goals in any way. We actually try to move them away. But life as it may be, understand this is the dynasty. We're born on this earth for everyone to see. But understand, reality is situated to you and me. For whatever time we have on this earth is true. We don't know when our number and when our lives are through. Whatever day it may be, life as actually as you see. We don't know what day, what month, what year, but we understand the fear. So don't fear in any way. Take life glorious in such a mysterious, mysterious way. Take it each and every day, and you're going to say to yourself, I'm going to live life truthful every single minute of the day. Understand what I say to you, as true as it may be. Live every dream life has for you to see. We don't know what day it may be or what may day it may lay, but that day might come unfortunately, someday. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the love and all the support you guys have been giving me. If you like what you heard on this episode, please let me know. Like, subscribe, share. And I'm happy that I'm giving people so much information that's helping them in some way. Um, if anyone needs some information, DM me at VinnieVenom at Gmail. Please send me your music, um, and I will listen to it as I listen to other people's stuff. Let me know what you guys are up to, um, and send me your links. I won't be able to play your music on here because of copy infringement, but I will be able to mention you and let people know of your music and some person to look out for because I'm really feeling your stuff, and I definitely know that you need to be noticed by many people out there in the industry um, because we're all out here to get noticed and give something to the world, whatever it may be. You know, it could be music. It could be drawing. It could be dancing. It could just be me conversating with you right now like this, you know, whatever it may be. Thank you for tuning in. This is Vinny Venom, your host. Thank you for watching my show, getting into the business, the music business that is episode 13. And I will see you on the next one. But I'm breaking down because my jealousy gets the best of me. If this gets... <laughs>